Welcome back to Basan Kitchen guys. Today we are doing the coolest recipe of all and my all time favorite, it's chicken chapli kebab. It's gonna be awesome, let's get started. Basan so the style. recipe we are doing today is with five pound Thai meat chicken, but it has to be with fat because the fat is gonna act like a natural binder. I'm gonna show you, it's one of the coolest tricks. So we're gonna it. start off with five pound chicken Thai kima with fat, it's gorgeous. Then we're gonna move to our dry ingredients. We have ajwain, we have red chili flakes, we have garam masala, salt, red chili, and coriander powder, and we eggs. We move on to the wet ingredients, kind of wet ingredients. We have diced onions, three medium. We have cored diced tomatoes. We have cilantro, gram flour, and chopped green chilies. I'll have the whole recipe with the quantities posted on the description of the video. So don't worry guys, you're gonna get it. And if you wanna increase the quantity of the meat, just increase the quantity of the spices. We're it's gonna, gonna be off awesome. with cilantro. Put it right in the middle. Diced tomatoes. The reason why I love these kebabs are because of the fresh herbs and the ingredients that go in it. Makes it one of my favorite dishes to make. You put everything in, and now with the dry spices. I have all the seasoning mixed in one cup, and take one egg, put it right in the middle, and the last is diced chili. Now is the most important part, is you have to mix it really good. But look at the gorgeous colors. If I had to make one kebab for the rest of my career, this would be it. I love, love making this. It takes me home. It's one of the best things. And it reminds me of basant. So beautiful colors, fresh herbs. Basant style. So we have the spices mixed. It's nicely mixed in. See, the thing what I like to do for this is I like to put it in the refrigerator for like 20 minutes. What happens is because the fat's in it, so the fat coagulates, right? And it becomes a natural binder. So when you make the patty, it stays in perfect condition. It's a cool trick. I'm gonna show you. It is definitely bizarre. While style. the chicken kima is getting chilled, I made the side dish, my basmati rice, which I'm gonna do a video on. But I want you guys to see. Look at the grain of rice. This is amazing. How pretty is this? Definitely basad style. We have the meat chilled. We put a little oil down, about three tablespoons, because remember, the chicken has its own fat, so it's gonna render some fat out. But this is gonna put a perfect crisp on it. So let's get started. Okay, oil is nice and ready. Put a little oil down on your hands, just like you're rubbing lotion, and you take I would take about four ounce. I'm pretty good at eyeing it, but if you want to use a scoop, make a ball, press it, press it. Like I said, with the fat in it, the kebab doesn't fall apart. You don't need to put too much of flour in it. And look at this. You could just smell, wow, look at that. Yeah, I shouldn't be this excited about the kebabs, but they are coming out amazing. They smell amazing, the color is gorgeous. Look how put together they are. Look at the strength, like you can kind of fold them and they still won't break. And that's the trick with the using meat for so the, the kebabs fat. are ready. We're gonna take them off. And then we're just gonna plate basan style. So we have the first batch ready, second batch is almost there, and after that, my favorite part, plating. But before that, let's save the rest of it in the Ziploc bag. Take it, and put it right in the middle. Take the glove off. Out. Ready to go in the refrigerator for tomorrow. 
guys. The kebabs are ready. The color is gorgeous. The consistency is amazing. And the smell is out of this world. But now let's move on to the most important part is plating. And I'm going to show you today how to plate these. So let's get ready and do it Basan okay, style. So we're going to make a little fan. Just so they kind of overlap each other. So they can complement. Look at that. Gorgeous. So there. we put the naan down. And we put the shirmal. Yes, chapli kebab and shirmal are my favorite things. And now, get the rice. For my last garnish, dry parsley. This looks so amazing. Hey guys, the kebabs are ready. The color is gorgeous. The texture and the smell is out of this world. We have a little naan, little shirmal. We have my gorgeous basmati rice. All the beautiful condiments. This is exactly the kind of food I love cooking. I hope you guys enjoyed my video because I had a great time making this. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Basan style.